What's up guys and welcome back to another action video. Today we are hopping into the 14th episode of the second season of Smallville Rush. Uh, last time we had like a really cool murder mystery thing that um, basically Lionel was shot and he almost died again and he and Jonathan was set up um, to take the fall for it and of course it actually turned out to be the last person you would think which is Ethan the sheriff like really you're the one that did it but he was being blackmailed by uh by lionel so but he did it and i thought that was a really cool like uh, just one-off episode that I, I like the fact that the villain again was not uh super powered and as the show goes on the more and more um, deeper into the series we get, the better the better the episodes are if it's focused on the Kents and the Luthers and um, and their relationship um, without superpowered people. So uh, that thread did continue last time as well. Um, yep. So we're gonna go ahead and just hop into this next episode. If you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page, or you can hang out right here. No worries. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, without further ado, here is the second or the fourteenth <laughs> episode of the second season of Smallville Rush. Let's go. Ah, we partied it up. We partied it up. Damn, they know how to party here in Smallville. Shit, you got scaffolding, you got lights, you got a freaking DJ. What? Yeah, they don't care. Sorry, Pete. Do you guys know that the clay doesn't wash out of your clothes? Oh, all right. Well, that's one way. What? Whoa! <laughs> He's high on something. Yo! Did he die? And wait, what got me? What the hell is happening? On the sidewalk? Dude! You're just so bro! You're almost ready to that woman. And you could have hurt someone. Most likely yourself. Yeah, that's a rush. You're never more alive than the moment before you die. At least Travis had that. Yeah, but he died. All you have to do is talk. A guy who can't get hurt, you never take any risk. That's a fact. What about with Lana? When are you gonna take a shot with her? Yeah, it's been a while. Come on, dude. She's giving you every signal. Come on. And he, he needs to make a move or just let it go. Warning rush. Get it? Get it? The warning. Yeah. Good job, show. We should go on a date. Together. Oh. Okay. In the near future. Alright, Clark. When? Nice. <laughs> yeah, of course she will. I assume that was the answer you were looking for. Yeah, we got a great. W, Clark. We got a W. Let's go. Aw, oh, you're so happy. And so is she. Aw, oh, they're cute. How did they get all of that down there? It was quite a bash. Not many teenagers are interested in 500 year old cape paint. It's true. Just the one. What's your interest, Clark? Now you would be keeping secrets from me, would you, Clark? A little bit. I'm doing a term paper on the drawings. I like a good mystery. Okay. This one promises to be fascinating. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Listen, uh, is she going to tell her? I thought maybe we could go to Metropolis tomorrow and do some serious shopping. I got Thanks. plans. No, I already have plans with Clark. Oh, telling her. Oh, okay. He asked me out on a date. Finally. Wow. My feelings for Clark are so ancient, they're fossilized. <laughs> uh, no, they're not. You're not fooling anybody, girl. Lana, does it really matter how I feel? Not really, unfortunately. Um, if I was in your position, I'd do the exact same thing. Don't let me be your excuse. Yeah, I'm glad she didn't keep it from her. But until you get back on track, I don't want you going down there anymore. I want your butt in this house every day after school. Just give me until tomorrow. Go on a date with Lana. A study date? An actual date. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she's like the biggest like Clara supporter. It's hilarious. Yeah, all right. Good job, Jonathan. I'm not able to take on any new endeavors at this time. Rarely sway me with the checkbook. Does this sway quite unique? I can tell you that, or even mine for that matter. Now he's swayed, isn't he? Any plans for the weekend? A little bit. Uh, she's fishing. But they did find a small puncture wound in the back of his neck, and his adrenal gland was unusually enlarged. Two other kids at the Ray, which they both turned out dead. Same enlarged adrenal gland and same extreme behavior. You think they got Pete? Pete, what are you doing? Pete, I have to get you to the hospital. I think something happened to you at the Ray. Pete, yo, what the hell, man? 
What the hell? Uh, no. Oh god. Well, no one's gonna believe him, though. Well, that's a one reason why he didn't tell people. Why would you stick your hand in there? Oh. Great. Oh, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I think you're sick. Ew. You x ray me? There's something inside of you. You need to come to the medical center with me right now. I know your weakness. This is why he doesn't tell people. Damn, Pete. Come on, man. Come near me again, and I'll start selling tickets to your store Damn, man. Better. Ooh. That's inside them? Ooh. We destroyed the nest with liquid nitrogen. I wonder if the Kawachi tried to put them here to protect the drawings. Somebody didn't. Ah! <laughs> what the hell, Chloe? What the hell are you doing? Can I get your number? Why? The thrill is gone. <laughs> Damn, Chloe. I met him in the hall. Thought he was cute. Okay. So what can I do for you? Travis's adrenal gland was abnormal. Maybe the parasite was feeding off his adrenaline, making one more and more. Alright, okay, so what do you need me for? I can't get within 50 feet of Pete. I figured you could talk to him. Sure, Clark. I'll do it for you. Just give him to your house. I'll see you there. It's a date. Damn, Chloe. Damn, he's gonna have to cancel. Damn it. I'm really excited about a date. So was I. Uh why are you speaking in the past tense? It's Pete. Something happened to him at the rave, and if I don't give him to the hospital, he could die. It's just I've done this to you in the past, and I just wanted you to have a reason this time. Yep, at least he told her. Chloe, we were supposed to Oh no, 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 no. This looks so bad. Never felt better in my life. Oh, this looks so bad. No, 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 no. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there's no way they're gonna remember this now. There's no way. Oh, damn, showing her everything. He's my brother from another planet. Can you fly? I wish. Oh. <laughs> My own personal superhero. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Yeah, kind of are. Does he know? No. I only tell people who don't go around stabbing me in the back and lying to me. Clark, can I have a word with you? Damn, Clark. If I didn't know better, I'd say you guys were on something. Yeah. I'm just having a good time. Just like he just barging in here like he owned the place. It's Thank like you! Oh my god, they actually address it. Kind of. I'm gonna go into those caves whenever I damn well, please. Alright then. Can you stop me? Is this really about a term paper? You'd love to know, wouldn't you? But uh, at least he still the good sense not to tell X. How many cars does Pete have? Oh god, oh god, oh god. It's so bad. Talk like about third wheel in it. Oh no, I oh, know. Oh no. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, we gotta get it off him. We gotta. Oh, thank god. Okay. Let's say. We, we gotta get it away, away from Clark. And he's like, oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Chloe, can't do this. Every time we hang out, it's just to get an answer. Chloe, why don't you research this? Or well, Chloe, yeah, kind of, yeah. I'm nothing more to you than your own personal search engine, and I'm sick of it. Yeah, treat it like a friend, Clark. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, of course she's gonna walk in right then. Yeah. Fuck. It's exactly what it looks like. Clark told me everything, and I mean everything. Damn. Thought I could explain. This looks so, 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 so bad. What happened to my little red rock? How could you do that to me? Fuck oh, me. I'm taking you to an emergency room. Oh, How the hell? What the hell? Mark's Achilles heel. You may be a boy scout, but I'm always prepared. I know Pete has a parasite in him, but I'm really pissed at Pete right now. Like, this is why he doesn't tell people for this shit right here. Pissed. I'd be too. I don't know. To be honest, I really don't care. Please, Clark. It's Clark. Oh my god. Well, that's cool. So what do you remember about what happened? She doesn't remember, does she? Kind of that obnoxious professor. And then I was coming out of surgery. Everything else is just blank. Yeah, yeah. There's no way they're gonna have her remember that shit. Nope. We're all good. 
Yeah, she's so royally pissed. I didn't come here to see you, Clark. I came here to see my roommate. Let's just say you aren't yourself. So what? Yeah, she don't remember. Don't Why is she so forgiving of Chloe and not Clark? I mean, she knew that Clark, it, or that Chloe had feelings for Clark. Why is she so angry at Clark and not angry at Clark? I would be pissed at both of them. Because even though I knew Chloe had feelings for him, she's still making out with him. I... When she knew that we were going to have a date, like, that's just messed up. I would be pissed at both of them. I don't understand why she's not pissed at Chloe. I can't believe Pete slipped you a red meteor rock. Right? He knew exactly what to do to control you. Yep. Yep. Scares me too, Mr. Kent. You guys never want to speak to me again. I don't understand. The important thing is that you're safe, you're alive, and you're still a member of this family. Cool. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> you're going to give Clark Kent unfettered access to the cave. Just what exactly is your fascination with this boy? My instincts tell me Clark knows a lot more about that cave than he's letting on. Well, that's true. Lex, it is curiosity. Oh, this is not going to be good at all. How do you explain this? What's this? A pathetic attempt at an apology? I know why Chloe was kissing you. Why were you kissing her back? It was red crap tonight. But, of course, she doesn't know that. Yeah, there's no talking your way out of this one. Sorry, buddy. That song's definitely on point, isn't it? That song. All right, well, that was Rush. We'll go ahead and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the 14th episode of the second season of Smallville, Rush. Um, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Um, of course, you know, it was the minute Clark asked Lana out, shit hits the fan. Like it always does. They always do this. Ugh. Like, they're so cute right now. And I just... You want them to get together, but like he just keeps messing up. But like this, like both times, it's been on. It's been on Red Kryptonite both times. Damn Red Kryptonite, man. Um, but this time it's a little bit different because he also added in Chloe and Pete, who got like injected by this parasite, and like it fed off their adrenal gland, so they just crave more and more adrenaline to the point where they would die. So that was an interesting concept, concept, and then you add in Clark and Red Kryptonite, um, and it made for a very entertaining episode, especially, and kind of cringy at the same time, especially with, like, Clark and Chloe and them making out and everything, and Pete checking her out and saying, you know, that she's got a great ass. It was just like, oh my god, this is crazy. Um... I just, I feel bad for Alana in this episode because it looks horrible. Like he, like Clark asked her out, which they've been dancing around it forever. And she says yes. And of course, on the day of the date, he has to postpone seeing that, you know, Pete is like really, really sick and he's got to take him to the hospital. And then he walks in and is like, I'm better than ever. I'm like, oh my God, no, 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 no. This looks so horrible. Um, yeah, but at the end, you know, there was no, there was no way for Clark to explain what had happened. Like, he wasn't going to talk his way out of that. And I just feel bad. But I still don't understand in the hospital why she was so willing to forgive Chloe and not willing to, you know, hear Clark out or whatever. Like, I would have been mad at both of them. Like, I don't think I would have been so forgiving of Chloe. I, I think I would have been mad at both of them. Like, that's what I don't understand. Um, but, you know, and I'm also mad at Pete, because this is the reason they don't tell people, because now he knows how to control him, so hopefully he doesn't do that anymore. Um, but all in all, I thought it was a, a pretty entertaining episode, that was pretty much it. Oh, of course, the linguist is now, um, trying to look into the cave, so now you have both Lex and and Clark looking into these caves. So we're going to see where that leads and how much Lex learns about Krypton and and Clark and things like that. So all in all, uh, I'm going to give this an eight, solid eight. Um, that was a pretty interesting episode. Again, I like that there was no freak of the week um, and I liked watching, 
you know, you can tell the actors were having a blast. Like, being just a little bit different from their normal characters. So that's always fun to watch. Um, as far as the tally board, we have plus one for colored kryptonite. So now we're at two. Um, we have a plus two for hospital visits for both Pete and Chloe to get the parasites out. So now we're up to 22 already. Wow, that's a lot. Um, that's more than half the episode. Someone is in the hospital. That's crazy. And then, of course, we have a Kalana ending scene, which gets us to 14. Um, yep, yeah, so if you want to see my full reaction, head on over to my Patreon page. If not, hang right here. That's cool. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next episode.